Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if the Windows 11 touchscreen is not working. The first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the hardware and devices troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD and run command prompt as an administrator. In here, just type or copy-paste the following command from the description below and then press on Enter. In the Troubleshoot window, just click on Next and then simply go through all the troubleshooter's potential fixes. You can also check for Windows 11 update. To do this, simply press the Windows button, then select the Settings icon and then on the left pane, make sure to click on the Windows Update section. Now on the right side, just click on the blue Check for Updates button and wait until Windows will find all the potential updates for your PC. Another useful solution is to manage settings in Device Manager. To do this, right-click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options. In here, we will do multiple things. First of all, we can check if the touchscreen is enabled. To do this, simply click on Human Interface Devices, then simply right-click the HID compliant touchscreen device and check if it's enabled. So if it's not enabled, simply right-click it and enable the device and afterwards just restart your PC. Otherwise, in the same category, you can also adjust the power settings for the HID compliant touchscreen. So right-click your HID compliant touchscreen device and select the properties option. In here, click on the power management tab. Now in here, just make sure that this option, which allows the computer to turn off the device to save power, is deselected. Lastly, just click on OK to save the changes. In the same human interface devices, you can also update your driver. So right-click it and select Update Driver, and then click on Search automatically for drivers, and Windows will try to find the best possible driver for your PC. Otherwise, if this step doesn't work, you can also reinstall the driver. Firstly, you have to right-click it and then select Uninstall Device. Now you can just confirm by pressing the Uninstall button and then the next time you restart your PC, Windows will automatically reinstall the driver. And another great solution is to roll back Windows 11. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type RSTRUI and select it as a run command from the search results. In here, make sure to select Choose a different point and then click on Next. Now, just choose the earliest point in time so you can go before the problem arised and then click on Next and lastly, press the Finish button to start the restoration procedure. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.